Hello, my fine ball bags. Welcome to frame 152 <clears throat> of Me One versus Me Two a Snooker. Je m'appelle un chatring, uh, moi une versus moi deux. Uh, pendant moi, uh, je connais le fait le français snooker, mais um, sacre bleu. Uh, actually, I am doing the English one. Sorry, I'm doing the English one. Uh, welcome to uh, the English. Um, it's me one versus me two snooker. Basically, it's me one playing me two at snooker to find out who's the best. Uh, I apologise for the late start. Uh, my kids do swimming and football on Tuesday. We get back late and we have two new cats in the house today. Um, you know, they haven't just snuck in. We've We've got two new cats, and they're very excited to see them. So, and, and my wife went out. I know. I mean, it's good for the snooker, but it's not good for getting the bedtime done. So I had to do the bedtime on my own. The kids wanted to see the cats. It was chaos. Uh, I'm absolutely exhausted. I did, I did uh, loads of rahalastapas this weekend. What's a man to do? And I know it's almost pointless doing the football scores at half past at 20.33, but I will probably have to do that in a second. I, what's the point you might say but that is the point oh i should say ian hamilton's family got in touch uh to say that uh, they think the stone of scotland should be in scotland and they were very cross with me for implying otherwise and therefore they do not want the arena named after him um so uh i'm a very uh, sad to tell you that um this week's podcast arena and forever unless his family complain uh he's probably your favorite academic from the sharif university of technology um he was also at the isafan university of technology i think i've given it was at the university of waterloo um i think i've given enough clues he ranked 27th in the university entrance exam in 1980 um i think i've given you enough clues uh, he did 68 pa papers, supervised, this is just off the top of my head, more than 80 masters and doctoral theses in Iran. Um, he's a professor, he was an academic, he was a member of the Society of the Devotees of the Islamic Revolution, of course. Uh, and I'm a very azad to tell you that uh, this week's arena is named after Riza Rooster Azad. I don't know if Rooster was a nickname. Um, Riza Rooster is ad, and I'm, I'm very is ad. Yes, not, yeah, I'm afraid so. Sorry if I've, if I've broken that uh, to you. Has Angela Lansbury died? What? Well, if I'd known, that's not on Twitter. Where did that come from? Where's Angela? I, un I can't see that news. Angela Lansbury. How dare you pretend Angela Lansbury's died, Andy McH. She will never die. I see no, I see no news of that. I'm going to have to look it up on Twitter. That's always first, isn't it? That's always first with the news. There's no one talking about Angela Lansbury on there. Uh, did Luz... Oh, someone's just mentioned Angela Lansbury. It seems like too much of a coincidence. Um, no, it's still Riza Rooster Azad. I'm sorry. Murder, she wrote. Um, it had to come to her eventually, didn't it? It had to come to her eventually. She eventually had to be the one. That's properly sad. That's properly a sad. That is. Um, let's make it to both of them. Let's make it the Reza Rooster Azad Angela Lansbury Arena. I think that's the only... That's the only fair thing to do. Uh, and seeing it was Andy McH who pointed that out he's the one who has to fit that all into the little box so good luck to him um so that's sad about Angela Lansbury I don't know if I can, can continue well let's just while I try to get my bearings and get a grip um let's have the latest football scores at about 30 minutes 45 minutes what a waste of time some of these at half time uh Dynamo Zagreb a uh, group E uh, a 1-0 down again, FC Red Bull Salzburg. I mean, that's literally just a soft drink. Uh, AC Milan 0, Chelsea, an English team, 1. Uh, Group F, Celtic 0, 
uh, RB Leipzig, that's uh, Richard Barry Leipzig, nil. Uh, Shack Attack Donets, nil. Real Madrid, nil. I, and I hate it when Pretend Madrid plays. I can't give you the Manchester City result as that's a result. Uh, Borussia Dortmund, nil. Sevilla, where the oranges come from, one. I uh, can't tell you about Maccabee. The Maccabees are playing. They're, they're usually a band. They played at Juventus. Interesting score. Uh, Paris Saint Germain, nil. Benfica, that's that fizzy drink in it you have in the morning. Benfica, nil. Uh, Scottish Premiership, Dundee United, approaching half time against the Burnian, one nil ahead. Too many goals gone at this stage. Championship, Wigan Athletic, nil. Blackburn Rovers, nil. Half time. That's good to see they haven't scored any goals. Women's World Cup qualifying. Uh, these games still playing, though, in the 115th minute. Portugal 3, Iceland 1, uh, Switzerland 1, Wales 1. Both of those in extra time. I think Portugal may just uh, nick that one from Iceland. Scotland 0, Republic of Ireland 0. Come on, Scotland or Ireland. I like both of you. In the EFL, EFL Trophy, Doncaster Rovers 1, Barnsley 4, 75 minutes gone. Uh, Gillingham 1, Colchester 1, half time. League 1, Charlton Athletic 2, Exeter City 1. Milton Keynes Dons, nil. Bristol Rovers, nil. And you have to remember how hard it is to find a team just made up of people called Don from one place. That's very bold. Uh, B Peterborough United, too. The old Peter with the Posh or something like that. The Potters. The Peterboroughs, two. Forest Green Rovers, the old Greenies, one. A lot of uh, women's international friendlies. Some of them have finished. Netherlands, nil. Norway, two. Spain won, USA nil, uh, England nil, Czech Republic nil. Uh, Into the National League, where prepare yourself some bad news. It's a mid, it's a sort of playoff clash between York City and Dagenham and Redbridge. York City seemed to have the ball in the net a couple of times in about the sixth minute, but the referee did not agree, and Dagenham and Redbridge got the net. It got the net. They got the net in the net. One. It's one nil. One nil to Dagenham and Redbridge. But there's a long way to go. St Albans City nil, Concord Rangers nil in the National League South. Scottish League won, Kelty Hearts won, Queen of the South, no, Kelty Hearts won, Queen of the South nil, Scottish League two. I'm convinced someone just puts these in the BBC to make me feel stupid. Bonnie Rig Rose won, Annan Athletic nil, Elgin City nil, Albion Rovers nil. And those are all the latest scores. Um, I'm keen to get on with the old snooker. Um, Angela Lansbury. You know, was she any better than Reza Rooster has had? How many uh, doctoral theses did Angela Lansbury do? Not many. Um, here comes Sybil, Aqua Sybil. Uh, what are these strange enchantments I feel whenever you're near? Hello, it is I, Sybil. I am here in the future, the past and the present. Yeah, we know all that stuff. What's the score going to be? Let me think. I think it will be victory for, I can see, one or two. It's going to be me one or me two. Yeah, that's good. The score will be 15 to me one. It's not looking good for me one. 15 to me one. And 87 to me two. Well, that's a big... Well, I mean, if... If that comes true, I'll be very surprised. Never doubt me. Have I ever been wrong? I mean, yes. Yes, you have. Um, hey, look, everybody. My book, uh, Can I Have My Ball Back, is out um, next week. In about at 10 days' time, you can get it at gofasterstripe.com. If you buy it at gofasterstripe.com, you can also buy this amazing uh, right bollock finger puppet. It's like one of those finger puppets from the olden days. Stick your fingers in there. You can have right bollock. There will be instructions on what paint you will need to paint it if you wish to have it painted. Uh, uh, but uh, it comes unpainted. Thank you to Richard Ison for making these by hand. Absolutely incredible. There's only a hundred of them in existence, so be quick. Uh, or you can just buy the book. You get a little sign thing from me. And if there's a little, and it, you don't have to buy the puppet. If you just buy the book, you get a little signed postcard. One of those postcards has. Uh, a special prize, golden ticket, and you can win one of these, which is almost the same, but look, it's painted. It's a stress ball, bright bollock stress ball. Not many of these in existence, less than there are of the puppet. <coughs> and um, one person who buys it from Waterstones will get one of those. One person who buys it from uh, Chris Evans, not that one, gofasterstripe.com slash ball will get that. Uh, and also, I should also say, um, if you are a fan of uh, snooker, if you're not why you're watching this, you bloody idiot. 
uh, or of my other non-commercial podcasts, you can support us by becoming a member at gofasterstripe.com slash badges. We've got a new membership card, which we send. If you're already a badger, <coughs> you can apply for this at twitchoffun.com. Uh, uh, or it might be twitchoffun.co.uk. I can't remember. You get a badge. It's usually red, but if you spend a bit more, you get a platinum one and a gold one. You get a carrot badge. You get a little rule book and all sorts of stuff. And there's a codes and secret codes in there. You'll also, while stocks last, get a Prince Andrew no sweat sweat band. Um, and you will help support us making more of these from £3 a month. Um, you can pay more if you want. You can pay less if you want, but you won't get all the stuff. I don't think you can pay less anymore. If you are paying a pound currently you need to bump up if you want to get the extra stuff but if you're already paying you can go and put your details in and we will send you that stuff so thank you very much for your support um let's talk to the mees angela lansbury dies 96 years young well i was just saying i know one from uh mary poppins or hardly anyone from mary poppins has uh, has died it's the reverse curse of mary poppins of course angela lansbury in some of the arrival Disney productions. So, um, hopefully Dick Van Dyke and, uh, Mary, um, what do I call her? Mary Poppins, Mary Poppins, Julie Andrews, and their lady votes for women, step in time. Hopefully she, she'll be all right. They're all in their eighties and nineties. Well done for them all. Well done to Angela Lansbury for living so long. That's what I'm going to say to her. Um, let's see how me one's feeling about the death of Angela Lansbury. Richard, it's going to be very hard for me to carry on. Not only was I a fan of Angela Lansbury's, but I was a big fan of the academic work of Riza Rooster Azad. So, um, but, you know, I'm a professional. I have to get out there and I have to play regardless of my personal feelings. Sure, sure. Um, you lost, uh, yeah, Angela Lansbury's died again. Uh, uh you lost last week. By some margin, you're now 10 frames adrift. Do you think there's any way you can ever pull this back? Richard, you know, I'm a humble man. I'm probably the most humble man. And I'm a family man. I care deeply about this country. It's a great country of the United Kingdom, especially England. And I care deeply about Liz Truss. In her, I trust and I think with all those things together, yeah, I think I can win today. I'm going to try and win it today. So you haven't been trying before. I try every day, Richard. I try my hardest. Sometimes it doesn't work out. Um, okay, let's talk to me too. How are you feeling? Yeah, good. Going to win? For sure. Uh, Sybil's right behind you. Correctly so, because I will win. All right, let's head over to the... Reza Rooster Azad slash Angela Lansbury Arena and that better all be on there, Andy McHale. You'll be in trouble. Uh to talk to commentator one, commentator two. Let's see what's going on. Hello Richard, here we are in the Reza Rooster Azad Angela Lansbury. That not the first time those two names have been together. Of course they were lovers in the nineteen nineties, briefly. Uh, and uh, sad that they go on the same day, but that's the way it goes. Look at that. Andy McH has got all of that on there. He's no slouch. You can say what you like about Andy McH. He's not a slouch. Um, it's a crucial frame. Commentator two, isn't it? It really is commentator one, and I'm very much looking forward to seeing who will be triumphant uh, from this uh, particular frame. Also, I hope York City will come back and beat Dagenham Redbridge. Otherwise, I'll be sad. OK, well, that's very good. And as we, it's me too, I believe, stepping up to the Oki now, wearing his trademark grey sweatpants. And that's a nice break from me too. Doesn't get anything down. Me one, of course, only scoring 15 points in this frame. And if he plays like that, it's not surprising. I thought that was going to be the first of his points, but he didn't make it. Me too. Eyeing up the competition. He thinks he can get this one in. Oh, he didn't get it. Was the shades of him touching the cue ball too early? Perhaps. Me one. He surely can't get that through that gap. Oh, he nearly did it. Nothing down. No points scored at all so far. Me too. And he doesn't score. Sure, Sharp talking to me. Me one. He's got a lot to prove here tonight. Not least that he's the best at snooker. 
There we go, me one, first pot, a beautiful plant there. And I'm not talking about the aspidistra in the corner. Just a bit of humour, me one. Yeah, he couldn't really get down to that yellow, but he's one nil ahead. So far, so good for me one. If the match ended here due to a nuclear apocalypse or something, it would be his. Oh, but me too, straight back in. And that's the best pot we've seen in a long while. Just sleek, sn I wish you could have seen it, you people listening on audio. Uh, sadly, I don't think there's anywhere for him to go. He's gonna try for, the oh, I know he's not. He looked like he's gonna try to pot the black, but he's not, he's just gonna hit the black and see what happens. So it's equal, even Stevens at this early stage. Oh, but me too's made an error there, surely. Me one easily pots that up to two points. Can he pop this blue? No, didn't didn't tend to take enough time on the shot. It's two one. I don't even need root robot voice for this. Me too. There's very little he can do here. He just plays a simple shot. Me one. I think he set up me one again. Me one. Now three one ahead. Comes down for the black, but doesn't quite time that right. It's going for the pink. I don't think this is potable. Oh, risky from me one, but no errors so far. Calculating, calculating, me one, three, me two, one, me two. Another confident pot. But again, not very good positional play. It's going for the yellow, it's a long shot. Oh, nearly goes in off, but he doesn't. Just five balls down, five points. But who's ahead? It's me one. That's who it is. Me one. I don't know what that was, but me two should equalize here. Can he get into the lead? He's equalized. I don't think he can get into the lead, but let's see. He's going for the brown. Hits it much too straight. Oh, he pots the brown. Me too. Was it was three all he's potted the brown, but unfortunately before he potted the brown, the white ball went in. It's the first in off of the night. The brown ball has to go on the yellow spot to me one leaps into the lead. Already almost halfway to the predicted 15 points. Oh that was not so good. I think he was hoping to get on the colour there. Me one, but he failed. Me two. He's trying to double. He's gone in off again. I'm really looking bad for me too here. He's suddenly, he's got a lot of work to do if he's going to get up to 87. Or whatever it was he had to get. Me one, surely a pot here. It is, and he's pulled it back. He's going to go for the black. I think he might have been thinking of going for the blue, but he just changed his mind. And me one already surpassed what was predicted by Sybil. Could do it in one break here with a bit of... Good luck. This is a pretty hard shot. There's also a pillar in the way. Yeah, he couldn't do that, but he's got a lovely, that's the highest break of the day. Eight points, he's up to 19. 19-3 and me too is floundering here, but we've seen this before. Playing a sort of backhand shot, me too. Oh, he's gone in off. Has, is he throwing this match? He's 20 points behind. But it was some odd betting pat patterns on this match. Me one. You wouldn't think he was the player who was 10 frames behind, and I think after today he won't be. Me too. Just trying anything and failing mainly. Me one. He could get this. Oh, no. Not making any mistakes. And me one has got a beautiful snooker there, my friends. A beautiful snooker. Me too. Oh, gets out of it, nearly pots. Me one. Yeah, he can't get this in, surely. Oh, nearly does it. Going for another snooker. Me too, though, can get that one. Nearly in off. This is like a game of chess, played with anal beads. Me one. Oh. Me too now, I think that's right, me too. Oh, me too potted the red, but he's gone in off. He's just followed through. 
Cackly tink, cackly tink, me one, 27, me two, three. To think these two were three all at one point. Maybe Sybil just got the wrong me in her prediction. Me one, me two's got to take some risks here. Whew, that was risky. And he set up me one. Me one pots the red. I don't know what he was doing there. He could have got onto the pink. Instead, he's going for a difficult shot on the brown. Oh, he's missed it. His glasses fall off. Me one gets one, but gives away four. Nearly more than doubles me two score. And me too, could he get back into it now? Oh, he has a go. And I think that was a clever play because if he potted the red, he potted it. If he didn't, he knew he was on for a snooker. Me one, Miss Cues. It's falling apart for me one. Calculating, calculating, me one, 28, me two, 11. Here comes me two. Me two now. Playing like the man who knows how to play snooker. Me one. Oh, misses everything. Hits the blue. It's going to be made to play that again. It does exactly the same thing, except it doesn't hit the blue. He's going to be made to play it again. Maybe. Oh, he can't come that way. Oh, he's hit the black. What a disaster. So, there we go. 13 points to me too. And... 28 plays 24, me too. Right back in this, me one. Trying for another snooker, messes it up, me too. Oh, goes in off, and I think, ooh, nearly pots the... There's a lot of errors coming up here, very poor play. Me one just needs to steady his hand. It looked like he was going to win this. Very dead. Carefully not to pot the pink. Oh, he hasn't potted the pink or the red. Me too. Oh, misses a sitter. Stand, but he gets a snooker. Me one. Misses. Goes in off, hits the green. Neither player is at their best. I think that's 29 to me too. No, 28, you're right. 32-28. Me one. At the Oki. Is that right? No, me two at the Oki, because there was just a mistake. Right, me two. That could have been difficult. Oh, me two. Plays an amazing shot. Can he get the equal highest break of the match? Yes, he can. Can he beat the equal match? Can he get the highest break of the match? May just have messed up with it. No, I think he can just get to that yellow. Can he double it? Oh, not bad. Eight points to me too. And me too leaps into the lead unbelievably. No one could have predicted this. Me one. Can he clear these colours? <sighs> nearly. Gets the yellow, nearly gets the green, goes in off. Oh, me one. Why, why have thou forsaken me? <sighs> me too. Where did that tube ball go? There it is. Me too has the easiest green there has ever been in the history of self-playing snooker. He gets it. Is he going to snooker himself? Try to get round that pink so he can get on the brown. I think he's just done it. Surely he can't get this brown. Me too. Oh, that was an interesting shot. Me too. 10 points ahead at least, or maybe nine. Me one. He's potted the brown. He's chalked up his cue. He didn't do that. Me one. Can he do this? He's potted the blue. He's potted the pink. He's come up perfectly. Oh, just a little bit too far on the black. Can me one get a 22 break here? He cannot. Oh, he can! He can! Me one has done the most amazing thing. I think he was all right anyway. No, he wasn't. Oh my goodness, he doubled the black in. Gets 22, one of the highest breaks we've ever seen in self-playing snooker, if not the highest. 
takes it 56 to 43. Oh, well, could this be the start of an amazing comeback? It looked like he'd won it. He looked like he'd lost it. And then he came back and he won it. Just as Sybil predicted, me 115, me 287 was in fact me 156, which sounds like 15, and 43, which is almost exactly half of 87. You have to sometimes read between the lines and read between the lions. Well, I expect me one will be unbearable after that. Let's go back over to Richard Herring, still reeling from the York City being 1-0 down, hoping that they might be one all by now, but they're not. Thank you very much, very much. Thank you, Commentator 1, Commentator 2. Good to see Commentator 2 taking it seriously this week. Um, amazing stuff. Uh, you know, I don't know how that happened. I don't know why that happened. Let's talk to me too. What, what happened? I've got no excuses. Uh, complacency. I was, it's like the tortoise and the hare. I was so far ahead. I just thought I'd, you know, play crap for, on purpose as a joke, then come back and win. But, uh, I couldn't have predicted me one getting a 22 break at the end. Could I, that, you know, I was going to win until then. So c'est la vie, as, uh, Bewitch said, c'est la vie, c'est la vie. I did a wee, I did a wee. Oh, la, 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 c'est la vie. Well, me too, taking it quite well there. And uh, me one, how are you feeling, Richard? I said I was humble before. I'm a humble man. Look, yes, I got a 22 break. Yes, that is maybe the highest break in, in self-playing snooker history. So what? I'm nine frames behind. And while I'm still nine frames behind, I won't be crowing. Uh, like Liz Truss, I'm behind in the polls. Like Liz Truss, I'm going to come back stronger. I'm going to come back longer. I'm going to come back. Um, um, with some wonga and share it around the country. So everything, everyone's OK. Uh, thanks for having me, Rich. It's been great. Let's talk to Sybil. How do you feel? It's just as I predicted. Not quite. Uh, look, hopefully we'll be back. It's difficult Tuesdays now for me and uh, I'm tired every week. And, uh, you know, I just want to do my best with this podcast because I know all those people out there who put their money in every month. You know, the, someone who gets like this red badge, three pounds a month. And all they've got is a little yellow thing. Some badges to show how cool they are. A sweatband. <sighs> But I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll like Angela Lansbury and Reza Rooster Azad. I will be back. And if I'm not back, I will be crack. Uh, from me and all the me's, in, let's hope York City can turn this around for my sake and yours. It's a bit hot here. I've got the radiators on and they're working finally in this house. And this house is now much too hot. Goodbye. I love you all. From me and all the me's. Take care of yourself and each other. Buy my book. Buy my badges. Help me out. 99 viewers and a bitch ain't one.